Good morning. It's July 23rd at <laughs> It's July 23rd and the moon is in um it's currently in Capricorn but it's heading to Aquarius today for an Aquarius full moon. I think it's the Buck moon. It's going to be orange. Um so full moons are about releasing things um and with it being in Aquarius. Aquarians are um really neat little human beings. Sometimes I think they're part alien, but they're actually humans. So uh, Aquarius energy is uh, very free thinking. It's very revolutionary. It is, um, Aquarians have the ability to appreciate the self. They're very into um, their selves and the whole. They're very unique people. Um, they like to change the way we do things and um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Trisha at work. Uh, my friend Trish is um, organizing our whole, we're getting a whole new point of sale system and she's the little head, little head techie there uh, figuring it all out for us. And this, this Aries is going to sit on her ass and wait for the Aquarian to figure it all out and then she's going to teach the rest of us. So thank you Trish uh, if you see this today for heading up that whole um, transition. Okay, so cards of the day today. We'll be joined by Belle, I guess. Uh, cards of the day. You know, it always makes me laugh when people think that, you know, it's such bullshit. Cards, cards are such bullshit. The tarot is just a bunch of crap. Um, so today I pulled uh, two of the exact same cards that I pulled yesterday uh, from a completely different deck, but same cards. And, um, you know, I'm not very good at math, but there's 78 cards in a deck, and I'm not going to do that math, but you can. That's odd. So the first card is Judgment. And uh, MJ, this is MJ, colon names Crow Tarot. MJ puts the Pluto sign up in her um, card, which I like a lot, and I'll read you a Pluto quote. Pluto is the great revealer, but often there is a dark night before the rebirth. Pluto brings to mind purging, exorcising, not exercising, exorcising, and releasing buried power or core truths. It's the planet of creative destruction, and transits can feel like extended ordeals. So, um, the judgment card, as we talked about yesterday, is about uh, a joining of opposites, whether that's male or female, um, you know, just good or bad, it's, it's accepting the world as it is, as a whole, yourself and other people. The emperor, I think, is probably me putting a limit on my own self, so the emperor is, is fatherly energy, and it's about rules, uh, social order, um, here's how we do things, and um, I've been doing a really good job with that. Uh, we went out to eat yesterday and I behaved myself, so um, maybe that's what that's about. Knight of Wands uh, is a really fun card. I like the knights. The knights are kind of not as mature as the kings and queens. They're just, they're just energy in action. They're, they're their suits, uh, traits, going full bore in a direction. So, um, my time is about to run out on my camera, but anyway, I hope you have a blessed day, and uh, I will see you tomorrow with the cards of the day.